the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. Matthew chapter 6 verses 22. Hello beautiful family. A very warm welcome back to the Lovely Starch Food channel. Thank you so very much for coming Lately, back. Lately, it's been palm not to back to back. I don't know what it is, but I've been having some good time with my palm not soup. There is a notion out there that Ghanaians cannot cook with just one source of protein. Especially when it comes to palm not soup. And that notion is being clarified now. Yes, absolutely, you can choose to make it with just fish. And that is what exactly I'm going to do today. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. It was so, so good. You are going to love this recipe. So to begin with, let's go through the ingredients. I have my palm nut base and I'll be using some tilapia fish, catfish and some crab. I also use some uh, salted fish that is the momone and you see it very soon okay and i also have lots of vegetables to boost up the flavors and here are some blended ginger garlic some seasoning salt i'll also be using some mushroom chopped spinach and every ingredient will be listed below in the description box so to begin with i like to cut my fish into manageable sizes i love my fish hair to be big just like koji sheldon's head <laughs> because i enjoy it very very much it's okay. always advisable to cut your fish into much bigger pieces because that's the only protein you're going to use so you must make sure that it does not end up breaking apart in the soup not cool at all it is one of the tricks all right and i'll be using some catfish as i said earlier but this is not quite huge catfish so i'm not even going ahead to chop cut them into pieces i'm just going to create some incisions so that when i season it every bed of this catfish will be well seasoned and very delicious so that's what i'm going to do after that i'll just give it another wash and put it in a bowl and then season it with some all pepper seasoning salt and some blended ginger garlic and onion that's all Make sure every corner of the fish is well seasoned. Put it in the fridge for an hour or so and allow it to marinate very, very well. So let's go ahead and prep our palm nut base. And for that, I'm going to add about two cups of hot boiling water and i'm going to allow it to sit for about three minutes before i start with the cooking process this helps settle all the unwanted particles in this um, base and it also take away you know that honey aroma from it okay so try to so three do minutes that. later i'm going to put it directly back to this pot and we are going to cook this for about 10 minutes you want to be very careful not to add everything at once because that's the whole point why we made it sit for about three minutes there was a little bit of stones in the bottom as you can see all right so i'm going to add a lot more hot water here and to that i'll add some chopped onions of course our almighty momone should be present here and i'll also add my tomato paste and i'm going to allow this to cook for the next 10 minutes all right I tell you the momone aroma is everywhere it smells so so good so i'm now going to add in my vegetables i have some zucchini carrots some red and orange bell peppers i have some onions as well and some scotch bonnet pepper for that spicy cake all these vegetables are going to add so much flavor and also thickening the soup up a little bit more so i allow that to cook for about five minutes and i'm now going to take everything out and blend everything back to the soup all right it's going to get thicker and thicker once it keeps boiling so i'm going to add a little bit of water hot boiling water just to easen it up a little bit and once i'm done 
blending everything i'm going to throw it in and allow it to cook for another five minutes before i add all my proteins this soup was the top notch trust me it was so so good the aroma in here now was super amazing at this point you should add all the liquid that you need especially if you want it a little bit more lighter you go ahead and add more all right just allow this to boil for the next five to seven minutes before you add your fish your very well seasoned fish and crab As you can see the pot is getting fuller and fuller and that is legit how a benkwai should be made this palm nut soup it's absolutely incredibly delicious i think my pescatarians are going to be very very proud and very happy so once the fish gets in it's very very important not to stir it vigorously because you're going to tear them just up. allow it to cook for the next 10 to 13 minutes and you should be done and as you can see it's very full so it's important for you to put your ladle over it just so that it does not boil over okay and about seven minutes in the cooking time you go ahead and add your very well seasoned mushrooms i season this with a bit of yes, salt. yes do not allow your mushrooms to taste just blank season it in salt water and just allow it to sit for about three minutes before you throw it in your soup i love to throw in some chopped spinach just that beautiful green makes everything so beautiful if you have spinach or taro leaves, go ahead and chop few and add it in your soup next time and you will love it it's not quite popular but trust me it makes your soup look very good and also add lots of flavor to it so go ahead and try it and i'm i am so certain you're going to absolutely love this all right so just allow this to cook for the next for the next five to seven minutes all right your soup will be ready very soon so while waiting i'll go ahead and get my fufu ready just look how succulent this fufu is looking i've shared the recipe of this please please hurry up go and watch it it is no sweat at all okay So after five minutes of it simmering, this is the end result. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it smells super amazing. And of course, with this type of soup, you can pair with any swallow that comes in mind. We paired it with some rice balls, which I've also shared the recipe here, the easiest way to make it. It's absolutely delicious. That's because hobby does not eat fufu, but if you are a fufu eater, I bet that's all you're going to think about. But it goes so, so well with a mutu as well. Just look at this. Perfection. <laughs> so, so good. And do not forget to add a touch of beans to this. You're going to even enjoy it so much more. And oh my goodness, it went so so well it went down so so well but we of course love our fufu so i and the kids definitely paired ours with some good yummy succulent soft fufu i've also shared the recipe here so please do not forget to check that out everything will be listed below in the description box and i'll link a few here as well you can see the thickness of this soup it's just so amazing you can pair with just rice if that's what you love or just pair it with yum i do pair with yum sometimes and it goes so so well so there you have it i know you're craving for it so go ahead in the kitchen and use this recipe to enjoy the best palm nut soup ever thank you so very much family for watching i do appreciate your time please do not forget to give me a thumbs up share to a few friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovistat my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes 
every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one have a blessed day